हेलो स्टूडेंट्स द क्वेश्चन इज टू लॉन्ग स्ट्रीट पैरल वायर्स ए एंड बी सेपरेटेड बाय डिस्टेंस डी कैरी इक्वल करंट आई फ्लोइंग इन द सेम डायरेक्शन एज शोन इन द फिगर पार्ट ए फाइंड द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एट अ पॉइंट पी सिचुएटेड बिटवीन देम एट अ डिस्टेंस एक्स फ्रॉम वन वायर एंड पार्ट बी शो ग्राफिकली द वेरिएशन ऑफ द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विद डिस्टेंस एक्स फॉर एक्स Lying between zero and D, so the problem is based on the topic, the magnetic field at a certain point located at a distance from a wire. There is a current carrying wire, and due to the current carrying wire, there is a magnetic field, and the magnetic field is given by the formula B equals to mu naught upon two pi i upon x. If the point is situated at a distance of x, so we have to use this particular formula. to calculate the net field now the distance of point a from point p is x and the distance between these two wires is uh, i is d so it means that the distance from p to b is d minus x so this distance is d minus x now using this particular formula we can easily see that uh, first of all the magnetic field direction due to the these wires because these wires are carrying e the current in the same direction so the magnetic field at the point p is in the opposite direction so suppose if we call the field at p due to the wire at a as b1 so we can say that b1 is equal to mu not upon 2 pi i upon x in a particular direction and similarly b2 is the field due to this wire wire at b which is at a distance of d minus x from point p so b2 is equal to mu not upon 2 pi i upon d minus x and these two fields are in opposite direction so we can say that the net field b net is equal to b1 minus b2 in this problem uh, it is not provided the values of x or we can say that d minus x or we can say that d the values are not provided so we cannot predict which field is magnitude wise large but uh, we can say that uh, the net field is b1 minus b2 so b1 minus b2 is mu not upon 2 pi i common 1 upon x minus 1 upon d minus x after solving is we get mu not upon 2 pi i lcm is x d minus x and we get here as d minus x minus x which is equal to mu not upon 2 pi i d minus 2x upon x d minus x so this is the result of the first part of the problem in which we have to calculate the magnetic field at this particular point p so is problem mein humse kaha gaya hai ki do wire hain jinme current hai i each aur dono same direction mein hai current hame koi point p hai jo ki in dono ko ज्वाइन करने वाली लाइन के कहीं ना कहीं एक एक्स दूरी पर है किसी पर्टिकुलर वायर से हमें उस पॉइंट पे नेट फील्ड निकालना है पहले पार्ट में तो हमने इसमें पर्टिकुलर जो कंसेप्ट यूज किया है वो है मैग्नेटिक फील्ड अगर हमें निकालना हो किसी पॉइंट पे जो कि डिस्टेंस एक्स पे है किसी भी पर्टिकुलर वायर से जो की करंट को कैरी कर रहा है तो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड के लिए फॉर्मूला है म्यू नॉट अपॉन टू बाई आई अपॉन एक्स ये फॉर्मूला हम यहाँ पे यूज करेंगे हम दोनों वायर्स के लिए सेपरेटली मैग्नेटिक फील्ड निकालेंगे और उनका वेक्टर्स हम ले लेंगे क्योंकि यहाँ पे हम देखते हैं कि मैग्नेटिक फील्ड की डायरेक्शन दोनों वायर की करंट की वजह से डिफरेंट होगी तो इसलिए हम यहाँ पे नेट फील्ड लिखेंगे बी वन माइनस बी टू विच इज इक्वल टू बी वन की जो वैल्यू है म्यू नॉट अपॉन टू पाई अपॉन एक्स और बी टू की वैल्यू है म्यू नॉट अपॉन टू पाई आई अपॉन डी माइनस एक्स तो इन्हें सब करेंगे हम बी वन माइनस बी टू करेंगे इसमें म्यू नॉट अपॉन टू पाई इन टू आई ये पार्ट कॉमन आ जाएगा और ब्रैकेट में रहेगा वन अपॉन एक्स माइनस वन अपॉन डी माइनस एक्स यहाँ पे x इंटू डी माइनस एक्स को हम एलसीएम ले लेंगे तो हमें मिलेगा न्यूमरेटर में d माइनस एक्स माइनस एक्स विच इज डी माइनस टू एक्स तो ये हमारा फॉर्मूला निकल के आता है फॉर द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एट द पॉइंट p विच इज डिस्टेंस x अवे फ्रॉम पॉइंट a एंड d माइनस एक्स डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम पॉइंट b अवे नाउ द सेकंड पार्ट इन द सेकंड पार्ट वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द ग्राफ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द ग्राफ बिटवीन द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड नेट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड द distance x so we have to plot a curve or a graph we have to plot a graph between magnetic field 
and the distance x. Now this x is varying, this x is varying, this x is varying between 0 and d, 0 and d. The variation of x is from 0 to d. Suppose this is point 0 and this is the point, this is the point d, this is the point d. Let us take a dotted line corresponding to this particular d. Now, we have the equation which we have calculated. We have the equation derived kari hai, B net ke liye. B net, the net field, B net, B net equals to mu naught upon 2 pi, then D minus 2x upon x, D minus 2x. Now, this equation se hume graph we have to plot a graph with the help of this particular equation. Now, no particular value is given here. So, we take some values. For example, we know that here i is also present. For example, let us take the value of i as 1 ampere. Let us take i as 1 ampere in each wire. And let us take the distance between wire to be 1 meter. And vary x from 0 to 1 meter. It means that take the values of x as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and so on up to 1. We take these values and calculate the value of B net. And then from these values, we can plot a rough sketch of the magnetic field. So, when we put the value of uh, I equals to 1 ampere, and we know that mu naught upon 2 pi, mu naught upon 2 pi is nothing but 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 7. Because mu naught upon 4 pi is uh, 10 raised to the power minus 7. So, better we take I as 0.5 ampere, better we take I as 0.5 ampere, so that this whole term become 10 raised to the power minus 7, because 2 into 0.5 is 1, 1 into 10 to the power minus 7, so we take the value of I as 0 0.5 ampere. Now, putting the value of X equals to 0 0.1 and D equals to 1, we get the first result, when we put the value of X as uh, and we can put x equals to 0 also as the first value. When you put x equals to 0, this term becomes 0, d minus 0, 1 minus 0, upon x is 0, here the denominator is 0. And when the denominator is 0, the whole expression becomes infinite. So, we can say that the graph starts from infinite. So, at x equals to 0, d equals to infinite. This is the first value. And when we take the value of x is equal to 0 0.1, then when we take that equals to 0 0.1, we, we get d net equals to 10 raised to the power minus 7 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 minus 2 into 0 0.1 upon x is 0 0.1 and d minus d minus x here is d minus x this is d minus x so 1 minus 0 0.1. So, we get this value as 10 raised to the power minus 7 multiplied by 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.1 into 0 0.9. Now, after solving this, we get this value nearly equal to 8.88 into 10 raised to the power minus 7. So, this is our first value 0 0.1 at uh, x equals to 0 0.1 meter. We get this value as 8.88 into 10 raised to the power minus 7. This is the first value. Similarly, we get the net field. This is the value of net field at 0 0.1. Similarly, we get the net field, net field at 0 0.2. And at 0 0.2, this comes out to be 3.75 into 10 raised to the power minus 7. So, this comes out to be nearly here. here. This is 3.75 into 10 raised to the power minus 7. This is the value at 0 0.2. This is the value at 0 0.2. In a similar manner, we can calculate further values. B net, B net, 0 0.3 comes out to be, this value comes out to be 1.9 into 10 raised to the power minus 7. Similarly, B net at 0 0.4 comes out to be, this value comes out to be 0 0.833, 0 0.833 into 10 raised to the power minus 7. So, in this way, we get this kind of graph. And when we put B net, 
we calculate v net at x equals to 0 0.5 when we put the value 0 0.5 here so 1 minus 2 into 0 0.5 is 1 minus 1 which is 0 so the numerator becomes 0 in this way the magnetic field becomes 0 so the graph touches the x axis here and when we put the value of uh, x equals to 0.6 so v net at 0 0.6 becomes this value becomes minus 0.833 into 10 raised to the power minus 7. So, in this way, we get this particular point at 0 0.6. Similarly, V net, V net at 0 0.7, this value comes out to be minus 1.9 into 10 raised to the power minus 7. So, we get a kind of a negative values. Earlier from 0 to 0 0.5, we get the positive values and in from the duration 0 0.5 onward up to 1 up to 1 we get the value as we get the values as negative now this point corresponds to d by 2 half the distance here x is equal to d by 2 this point is d here so in this way the graph looks something like this the graph looks something like this in the negative direction and when we put the value of x is equal to 1 we have this equation, we have the equation as mu naught upon 2 pi i d minus 2x upon d minus x into x. When we put the value of x is equal to 1, this part becomes 0. d minus x, which is 1 minus 1, becomes 0. So the denominator becomes 0. This term becomes infinite, but negative infinite. So the curve reaches negative infinite when the x value reaches d. So, in this way, we get this particular graph. This is the particular graph. So, here we explain karte hain. Here we have equation pehle mil chuki thi first part mein. Net field ke liye. Mu naught upon 2 pi i d minus 2x upon d minus x into x. Here we have a graph plot karna hoga to humne nishe thi kuch na kuch values ko jo hai leke chalna padega. Question mein nahi di gai hai. Lekin humne kuch na kuch values assume karni padengi. Bina values ke hum graph plot karna easier nahi rahega. To humne Value ले ली हमने यहाँ पे i की value ले ली हमने 0.5 mu naught upon 2 pi की value होती है uh, 2 pi into 10 to power 2 into 10 to power minus 7 तो इसलिए हमने 0.5 अगर लिया तो हमें मिल जाएगा ये पूरा term 10 to power minus 7 d हमने ले लिया distance between the wires हमने ले लिया 1 meters और x की value को हम 0 0.1 0 0.1 interval पे रखते गए पहली value हमने zero रखी फिर 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 and so on up to 1 ये different values हमने calculate करी और उन values के corresponding हम graph जब देखते हैं तो हमें इस तरीके का एक particular graph मिलता है आप इससे कम values लेके भी graph बना सकते हैं अगर question में question paper में आपके पास time कम रहता है तो बजाय आप इन 10 points लेने के आप कोई भी 4 और 5 points ले लीजिए in between और उन points को लेते हुए calculation करते हुए graph को plot कर सकते हैं एक rough sketch आपको जो है graph का मिल जाएगा कुछ एक पर्टिकुलर वैल्यूज को लेके जो की वैल्यूज है हमारी जो फर्स्ट जो सबसे पहली वैल्यू है x 0 पे हम ये देखते हैं b इनफाइनाइट है पॉजिटिव में x 1 मीटर पे यानी d के बराबर जब हो जाता है तो हम देखते हैं नेगेटिव इनफाइनाइट पे x की वैल्यू d के हाफ है एग्जैक्टली यानी 0.5 पे हम देखते हैं कि b नेट हमारा जीरो हो जाता है इसके बीच में कोई भी हम दो वैल्यूज ले सकते हैं जिससे कि हमें ग्राफ का एक रफ शेप मिल जाता है जितनी ज्यादा वैल्यूज लेंगे उतना ही बेटर हमें ग्राफ यहां पे मिलता है so this is the whole explanation of this particular problem hope to understand the solution